So often I get questions of, you know, if I watch anime and I collect Weiss and my girlfriend is really into anime, how come we don't play One Piece? How come we don't play Disney Locana? How come we're not into the Nom Nom universe? Or how come we still don't own a Meta Zoo card uh, today? Uh, the answer is actually kind of uh, simple. Is You only have so much money. Uh, no matter how rich or wealthy you are, you only really have X amount of disposable income. And the way that we enjoy hobbies, we play Pokemon Go. We travel to New York uh, for Mewtwo raids. We're heading there to New York end of the month. Uh, you only have a certain amount of time and a certain amount of money. And, and both of these are very valuable assets. So for you to go off and you know play other games, I mean, MetaZoo, they raised over two, almost $2 million when you combine both of their Kickstarters on, from crowdfunding. And they raised probably even more from pre-order. This is not a small game. This was a very large game from the get-go. Uh, to a point that people are grading cards at the start, which, again, I find kind of strange, right? But it is what it is. And when you talk about losing this type of money, it's not something you can recover from. And a lot of people who bought into MetaZoo are no longer into card games. Uh, many people might have taken MetaZoo as a second or third card game. They might still be around, right, playing their main card games. But it's a, uh important lesson in just management of your assets. You know, like, I don't want to continue to repeat this, but the economy is such that a lot of people, I think, are squeezed at the lower end. I think at the upper end, the 1%, they're making more money than ever on stocks and bonds and crypto. And if you have money to invest, you have money to invest. So I... My gut feeling is people put a lot of money in this card game. Those people are no longer here. And to be quite honest, they probably shouldn't be here because they might be speculators or investors. But it's a bad taste, you know. It's a bad taste. They paid $820 for a box, and that box is worth less than $25 today. I mean, I mean simply put, they got got. And I think there are people who really enjoy MetaZoo. There are people who still enjoy MetaZoo and they still, but the the loud supporters, the defenders, the MetaZoo, it was very like crypto. So you've ever been in any crypto, FTX or Lunar Coin, you know, like they're defending this card game because their financial well-being is part of defending the card game. If people say, "Oh, these the artwork sucks," they have to say, "No, the artwork is amazing." I don't know even if they believe the artwork sucks, because in crypto, you got a hodl, um, you know, a lot of the terms that people use to pump this game, especially from alpha investment, are the terms that people use in crypto. Diamond hands, hodl, right? To the moon, to the moon. And often they will, you know, like this is, in my opinion, very similar to Logan Paul's crypto zoo, uh, the way it went down. Which a lot of things were promised, very few things were actually delivered, and a lot of people got stuck holding the bag on pre-orders. Same with Meta or Crypto Zoo, and in fact, their names are, you know, very, very similar, right? One is Cryptids, one is Crypto, and both of them are zoos. And Meta, right? Meta, right? Meta is a Metaverse, right? So I mean, again, you couldn't have more parallels between these two. Now, the main reason I think these defenders, these very people were very hateful because they have nothing to defend anymore. The money's gone. There's no more money to defend. So when you say a criticism like, oh, it looks like this uh, is from a Denny's playmat or a Denny's kid's menu that some kid just made these uh, up, they were like, no, you don't understand. The artists are very talented and very gifted to the moon, to the moon, right? Hado, hado, diamond hands, six nine, six nine, and now those people are all gone, and and thank God they're gone because there's no money left. Like they can clearly see what's happening on eBay. I think uh, what was it? I saw Meta Zoo buy it now for twenty dollars. 
Like, these cards are just not it. Like, at this point in time, I don't think anyone believes it's investable. I disagree with Alpha Investment in that no one thought it was investable at one point. At one point in time, it was an investable product. That's why people were paying $8,200 to get in on this fantastic investment opportunity. Um, again, I will say that in terms of what happened here, it is a catastrophe. It is a absolute bloodbath. Um, and you don't need to take my word for it. You can take the eBay. You can take the... I mean, eBay is just a bloodbath on this product. Argos Anonymous is... I mean, he throws up a case like every day now of these like valuable... I mean, you search for these products all your life and then you find them or these grails and then suddenly you immediately sell them for a cafe. All right. All right. Makes sense to me, right? Um, a lot of the people who are buying or who bought into this product, they're no longer around. So that's what you also see in crypto is when Lunar is... You know, the, the most aggressive is when it starts dipping but when it actually hits like almost zero or very close to that, then they start start believing. Now, no one's defending MetaZoo. You don't see that in my comment section. All you see is like, you know, you don't see that on YouTube. The MetaZoo content creators are all gone. Uh, they've left to promote other games like Nom Nom, right? Nom Nom Verse, right? It's almost, uh, and then now if you attack Nom Nom Verse, they're going to treat you the same as they treat MetaZoo, right? And that's how you know. That's how you know. Because these other games like Pokemon, Magic, the they don't need you to defend them. They have IP. They have years and years and years of being in the hobby. They actually have a gameplay and player base. You, you don't need to defend Magic. Magic will still be here. You don't need to defend Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh will still be here. So... I think the more defensive... And this is like a telltale sign. This is my... Words of wisdom. When someone is really defensive about their card game, probably means it's a scam. Because when you're that defensive about a card game, why are you so defensive? It's because it has to do with your financial situation. And and that's the honest to God truth, right? Is and the same with crypto, you see that when people have their finances and they put money into a product, and somebody says something bad about that product, theoretically affecting the price to go down, oh yeah, they get angry, because you're messing with their money. Now when MetaZoo goes to zero, or goes to very close to zero, those people don't speak a whisper. They don't speak anything. Because now they look like idiots, and of course they don't think themselves as idiots. They're actually victims, but this is actually a psychology thing where many victims don't ever come public because they don't want to be laughed at or made fun of. So they just kind of keep, you know, take the loss in silence. Anyway, hi guys.